Hello, everyone, and welcome to Exploring Cinema. I'm Nate. And I'm Dylan. And I'm Adam. And perfect with the title of this channel, Exploring Cinema. It's November, Barnes & Noble, 50% off Criterion Blu-rays. We were really excited to say that we went on an expedition. Yes, sail. We had to. We had to shop the deals. We set mm-hmm. sail for Barnes and Noble. <laughs> uh, these guys so kindly drove me there as I recover from hip surgery and could not drive yet. I was gonna say we were a real motley crew setting sail for <laughs> Barnes and Noble. <laughs> like they're handy, capable, egg legged pirate. <laughs> egg leg. <laughs> uh, but we reached our destination. We, we got did. There. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to be sharing what we grabbed. We'll go around the room here and just kind of share what we were able to pick up really quickly. Did you guys have anything in particular you were looking for or did, cause we kind of just browsed around. Did you just sort of stumble across stuff and say, this looks cool. I'll grab it. Or were you eyeing anything specific? Pretty just browse and see what catches my eye. Like yeah. where's the movie that I find that I go, Ooh, I have to own that. Or like, Oh, the extra, the extras are going to be so cool. I can't, I already love this movie. I can't wait to see what else there is about it. Right. That's kind mm-hmm. of how I went into it. Yeah. Same. I like to get ones that I've already seen and I know that I love as opposed to just um, taking a chance. So I kind of just figured I'd go see what was there, see if maybe there were some newer ones that I hadn't heard that they were like doing a criterion edition of, you know, yep. kind of some new surprises. Um, but yeah, nothing in particular that I was going for. I basically had three, so I ended up with seven and there were three Mm. of them that I felt pretty strongly that I wanted to be there. And the first one I want to say is the only one of these that I hadn't seen, but we just released, I think we're releasing that before this, um, our (laughs) review of Barry Lyndon. Yep. And so I knew since we were, since we were going to be watching this and talking about it, Mm -hmm. that I just had to have it. There's lots of great extras on here and I've watched like half of them. Okay. And they're totally worth it, in my opinion, especially because I really liked the movie. I want to check always that out. nice. I've, I've been pretty good so far on the sort of blind buys. I think there's only one of them in my collection that I kind of look at whenever I'm perusing what I have and think like, I probably don't still need that. Yeah, gotcha. but that's it. I mean, other than that, there have been a lot that I've really liked. And then um, so I'll start with those three kind of the next one. I just kind of decided I really wanted the Citizen Kane copy with all the insane extras on here Mm -hmm. uh the number one thing for me was there's a full roger ebert commentary of the movie like the whole thing i've been reading some of roger ebert's books lately and i just saw that and i thought like that alone to me was basically worth yeah the cost and then all the other stuff on here it's a movie i really like and wanted to revisit soon anyway so this just kind of felt like the perfect way to do it and then uh, the other one that I was really, really looking for, I actually had to go back because we didn't find it when the three of us were there. But because mm. um, they just released this, Ooh. The Others, ah. 4K, one of my favorite horror movies of all time, one of the best ghost stories I think ever made. Mm-hmm. Um, just a phenomenal movie. And that's great. I, felt like so I that wasn't there. Have. That wasn't there when we were there. No, it was not. Okay, I feel like I yeah I might have grabbed that one if that would have been there. That's exactly <laughs> the type of one where I was like, let's see, there's gold in them dar hills. Yeah, That's exactly. <laughs> so then uh, there were four others that I grabbed that kind of like you guys were just sort of like I walked past, and some of them were like, I've thought about buying this like four times, mm-hmm. and I guess yeah, just gotta do it. Today, um, the first one is Hal Ashby's being there. Heard very good things about which that. Mm. I think this would be a really good. Exploring cinema movie potentially. I think you guys would love it. Uh, maybe it's, maybe it's just your December movie. Hmm? And Peter Sellers is phenomenal. It's got one of the funniest outtakes I've ever seen from a movie. I can just watch that like on loop. It's Hell yeah. hilarious. So, really looking forward to watching that one again. And then finally grabbed Do the Right nice. Thing, a Spike Lee joint. Mm-hmm. Um, this one's got like a big poster, I think, or something to that effect, and a bunch of extras. I mean, it's this is a thick. Oh yeah, yeah, she's beefy. Thick case, <laughs> and I really love the artwork here. Another movie that I've just kind of been meaning to revisit, so this will be a really fun way to do that. And then I grabbed a couple Netflix movies. Uh, the first one being Power oh, of the Dog. This one. might be my favorite Netflix original movie. Ooh, Maybe. more than the killer? <laughs> <laughs> or 
or the king. I oh, do actually, like the king a lot. Yeah, he does like the king a lot. That's I love that. Movie. That was a good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, good poll there. I'd kind of forgotten about that one, but uh, mm -hmm. I like the power of the dog a lot. And that's the 4K copy of that. So I'm really looking forward to throwing that one up there on my 4K TV. And then the other one, honestly, maybe my second favorite or maybe my favorite. I don't know. Uh, Coron's Roma. Ooh. Mm, just yeah. felt the need to snag that one and add it to the collection as well. Just another beautiful looking movie. So those were my seven pickups. For this nice. Wonderful. Is Roma also a Netflix original? It is. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Good for them. Getting some Criterion stuff. They got quite a few. Good for them. Yeah. <laughs> Getting quite a few Criterion stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I can go next. Sure. Yeah. I'll uh, run got? through my four here. So these are all ones that uh, I have seen and I know that I like them and I want some cool features. The first one, just because it has an awesome cover, is uh, <clears throat> Travolta Blowout. Yes. Ooh, okay. Palma. Love that cover. Great um, movie. Yeah, seriously. Got some cool um, some cool extras. Looks like uh, De Palma's 1967 feature, Murder a la Mode. So either like a little short film that he must have done uh, earlier or something. Um, interviews with the cameraman. Talks about the cinematography. Lots of cool stuff. And the original theatrical trailer, which I'm sure was awesome as well. So um, Blowout is my first one. Second one is a movie that we just reviewed. Uh, so you can go find that. And that is Cure. Oh, yeah, nice. shows you how much he liked that one. That's yep. good. Awesome. Uh, Great cool. cover, too. Yeah, right. Perfect cover. Um, you know, kind of the same thing. We got, uh, you know, interviews, 4K rest restoration interview with Kurosawa, the other Kurosawa. Um, but mostly just from 1997, a lot of things I, uh, that struck me about this movie, and I would totally watch it again, and uh, it just looks good on the shelf there. So that was my second one. <laughs> yep. Third one, keeping it kind of in the same vein. I got Memories of Murder. A little Bong Joon Ho action. Yes. Yep. Cool cover as always. And I'm sure it just, I mean, uh, paragraphs of uh, special features. So, yep. right. And it's a Bong, it's a Bong Joon Ho I movie, think there's so. a Del Toro Bong Joon Ho conversation on there, but I might be. Oh, the movie. yeah, there is. Interview with, yes. interview with filmmaker Guillermo Del Toro. And then Ooh. interview with Bong about the real life serial killer who inspired the film. Yeah. Documentary on the making of the film. Uh, deleted mm -hmm. scenes. Um, and then Incoherence, a 1994 student film by Bong. Oh, so, interesting. I'm digging that. Ooh, I so, would watch yeah. all of that. That right. sounds really awesome. And Plus then the uh, my last <laughs> one, as if I wasn't cultured enough, uh, <laughs> oh, an absolute uh, classic that uh, Nate put me on to. I've been meaning to watch it again. And uh, yeah, not much more to say other than oh, Itu Mama yes. Tambien. Nice. So good. Adam, uh, have you seen that one? Nope, not yet. Oh my god! I know, we, I know yeah, we've talked about it a few times, but that uh, might be a I, good one to do when the weather gets warmer. Yeah, yeah. In the summer throw a Matambian in there. Um, yeah, commentary, two new pieces, interviews with Gael Garcia Bernal, Diego Luna, the director Quaron. Um, just so many. Yeah, this will be. This will be. This is going to be the first one of the four that I picked up that will be watched. Okay, uh, that okay. will be soon. Um, because I have to introduce it to the uh, renowned film critic yes. that I hang out with just all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, all right. Is that it? All right. Over to you, Adam. Yeah. So I'm kind of all over the board. It looks like you went a little more eclectic, more, more educated, more good. <laughs> and I, I'll, I'll start with uh, what I think is just one of the best movies of all time. Um, I went with The Princess Bride. Hell I mean, yeah. yeah. Have to. Have to. Look at An awesome cover. Yeah, cover. yeah, look at this cover. cover. It's like, it's a, like a whole too. It's like a whole book. Like oh yeah oh uh, yeah so that's that's pretty fun. <laughs> that's pretty fun uh again the, it came with the uh all the special features and like you said a litany of, of paragraphs upon paragraphs of of interviews and stuff with billy crystal and andre the giant and rob reiner the director and all that stuff so that'll be really fun to watch Hell yeah. um my next one i went to uh the movie we watched a couple months ago uh ikiru kurosawa the other nice. kurosawa Love you, the other Kurosawa. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had mentioned him before, so yeah. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this movie when we watched it, uh, like it's a couple months ago, and I, I, I kind of just can't get that out of my brain. So I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. That's, yeah, it's a that's, great movie. Yeah. Um, and then I went with uh, one of my favorite movies of the last 10 years, probably I think my favorite movie of the last 10 years. I went with uh, Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Yeah, so you have I, to. You gotta, I knew, I knew you were going to take that home with you. Uh, yeah. That's 
Fantastic. That was yeah. your favorite movie of the year that year, right? It was. It was. I love this movie. So I can't wait to dive into some of the uh, interviews oh. with, the, with the main actors. And um, I think there's one with like the cinematographer uh, as well on here. Um, yeah. So that'll be that'll be really cool. No, um, definitely cool. Especially, I mean, since we just talked about Barry Lyndon, talk about movies that look like paintings. Yeah. yeah. Of, like, <laughs> yeah. That'd be a great double feature. Feast for the eyes. For sure. So, yeah, those um, are my three. All right. Wonderful. Well, this is fun. I like doing these whenever a criterion has a sale. I was going to ask if we could go around, um, which one are you most excited about having? I think Dylan, you kind of answered that already though. Too about time to end. Time Adam, which one do you think you'll be diving into first? I mean, probably portrait lady on fire, but I know that this princess bride is going to get watched a bunch of times. So oh, yeah. yeah. Hard yeah. to hate, hard to hate either of those. And for me, I mean, we already watched Barry Lyndon. Mm -hmm. Aren't you? But, uh, <laughs> You're you know, in the I'll, process of rewatching it already, aren't you, Nate? I am actually. Yeah. <laughs> features, so that's got to be the answer. But it was also the only one I hadn't seen. Uh -huh. that's fair. So that's fair. for the ones I have seen, I'll say I'm just really excited to have being there. Yeah, yeah. I'll probably watch that again soon. And also, like I said, just one of the best outtakes ever. And just that I own that is almost as good. Like I like having that more than just the whole movie, almost. Yeah, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see this outtake. I'll come over and watch it for the first time. Yeah. Oh my um, goodness. Oh, was there another I, one? No, I just I, I opened. Didn't bring you another criteria? No, 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 no. I I opened the case finally, like and yeah. just like this, and I was like, okay, it's just the movies there. I the, no, the you saw that it's like the, a book. The insert from the back. I was like, okay, I gotta find a way to put that in. It turns out that this is a storybook. Oh yeah. my! And it has like paintings and stuff. Sorry. I, Going back I mean and that, yeah. Like yep. what? That's awesome. That's, That's super awesome. cool. Sorry, I can't. I can't seem to flip. But yeah, That's super sorry. sweet. <laughs> I, I love that we that. got to there we witness go. Adam discovering that in real time. <laughs> yeah, cracking it open. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe our next one of these will be an unboxing. <laughs> yeah. yeah we'll just open. It. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Fun episode. Lots of great movies. Absolutely. Whenever I buy stuff like this, I'm like, why do I waste my time watching like new movies? Yeah, why do I? Why am I exploring things when I could just? I've got like 200 movies that I love to death. Why don't I just like keep watching those on repeat? I know you got a, a shelf full of bangers. Just start at one end, and just by the yep. time you get to the other, it's been a while. Start it over. There you go. Um, All right. Uh, is it fun my episode? Turn I, yeah, I think Dylan, you've, on got, the show? you've got the quote. All right, I will take it away. There's a reason people say I have a shaman's eyes. <laughs>